Hey, it's John Siskovich, and we're on day 13, I can't, I don't have 13 fingers, of our 100 days to sell out our CSA. As you can see, I'm pretty busy on the farm right now, but before I came out to clear some pasture for the birds, I did something very important if you're going to have an on-farm pickup, and that's register with Google Places so that you show up on Google Maps, and you can control what information people see. So let's head over to my screen capture, and I'll show you exactly what I did and where I went. So we're on my screen now, and I want to show you exactly what I did. So there's no easy address that I found, like google.com forward slash places or anything like that. So what I did, and this is silly, uh, I went to google.com and put in Google Places. And that gave me the search results. Um, and right at the top is Places for Business, and that's exactly what we want. So when I clicked on that, uh, it walked me through setting up a listing for the Camps Road Farm place on Google Places. And once I do that, uh, it gives me, you know, now I'm signed into, it says, you know, create an account or sign up for, for Google. And what I did was, I, you know, I already had an account, Camps Road Farm at gmail.com. Uh, G, uh, Google's thing is that, you know, one name, one password for everything. So that Camps Road Farm works for everything. So I signed in with my Camps Road Farm Google account, which I use for the Gmail for that, uh, for Google Places. And it lets me add a listing. So this is what the listing editing thing looks like. Uh, you sign up, you can request an authorization code and they mail it to you. So if you're a farm and you have competition and you're trying to register on Google, in order to edit your you know, entity, I guess, on Google Maps, uh, they send you a postcard with a verification code. That way, that postcard, postcard comes in the mail to you and it's another way to verify that you're authentic and you're the real person, you're the real Camps Road Farm or whoever you are. Uh, so in about two weeks, I will get my uh, code in to, on this card sent to Camps Road and I'll enter that code in and I'll be legit as far as Google is concerned. You know, uh, I'll do a video when that, when that comes out. Uh, but some important things that I put up on the Camps Road Farm business listing for Google Maps. So business name, Camps Road Farm, you can edit it after I get the verification note code. The address, obviously my address is correct. Contact phone, you can choose to display or not display that. I chose to display it um, because, you know, why not? Uh, category, I edited the category and I just typed in farm. It, you know, when you click edit, it lets you search a category and I put in farm. And then hours, closed on Sunday because I take Sundays off and I don't want anybody to show up. And then my hours, nine to five during the week. Uh, it's really five to nine. Uh, but as far as people coming and visiting the farm, if anybody were just to stumble upon it, uh, nine to five is when I'm more prepared for people. I uploaded a logo. And then here is the more important part, the introduction. Here's where you get a little bit of an elevator pitch, a little blurb about your farm if people are interested, if they're searching for farms in the area or whatever. So I use pretty much the same copy that's on the website, uh, campsroadfarm.com. And what's great about this, I'm going to click on edit so you can see it. You can add links and do a little bit of editing yourself. So what I did was, you know, farm products are available for sale at the New Milford Summer Farmer Market, November as well as contact us directly through our website. And what I did is I highlighted website and clicked on this link right here and that adds the link. And you can see it comes up as campsroadfarm.com. And that way people can link to my website from Google. Plus it's another way for Google to know that Camps Road Farm is associated with said website. So it helps with search engine rankings and so on and so forth. Uh, and at the very end, for the most current news and information, visit us on Facebook uh, because that's a really good way because I get the Facebook updates on my phone to stay in touch with my customers. Um, I didn't change anything, I'm just gonna hit cancel here. And now I wait. Uh, it puts up a basic um, thing for now, and uh, once I have that verification code in, I'm official with Google, and it's easy for people to find me in that search engine. And we'll pop over to Google Maps real quick, and show you where this comes up. Right now, uh, 33 Camps Road, just 33 Camps Road you know, shows up if I click on it, nothing really happens. There's no information. 
uh, people can't see that the farm is located there. In the future, after I've been verified and everything goes through, you know, these things take a little bit of time, but I like that because it makes it more legit. Uh, people will be able to see that the farm is located there. It's just like, you know, the country club is located there and the Iron Mountain Reserve, and then it'll say Camps Road Farm, and uh, people searching for me on Google uh, will be able to find me. Also, I have embedded a Google map in the Camps Road Farm website under the contact page. I'll click over to that. Uh, and you know, right now it says 33 camps road. I'm looking forward to the day when it says camps road farm, uh, just, you know, a little, little extra something marketing, uh, more legit lets people know you're taking yourself very seriously and making an effort to get out there. Anything you can do to drive a little traffic to your farm, uh, ends up in dollars and cents. So that's the tip for today. Registering with Google places. Uh, I hope that this walkthrough has been helpful. We went through the search for Google places creating your profile and then sending out for the verification code. It's all easy. I did it today. Uh, they walk you through it. Super simple. Uh, I showed you how, you know, why it makes a difference when you're looking at maps and then how to implement it in your farm website. Now, if you don't have a farm website yet, you can go to easyfarmwebsite.com. It's my completely free tutorial on how to set up a website without learning any code. It's all drag and drop. Really super simple. I've had a whole bunch of people actually use the tutorial and create the firm website and they're having some success with that. And it's what I like to see because the point of farm marketing solutions is to help grow other farmers and help you guys with your marketing efforts just because it's a passion of mine. So the hub for all of these videos is at howtostartacsa.com and that'll bring you to this page on the farm marketing solutions website where it has a little bit of information about the project and uh, some previous videos and links and you know just information as i go along i'll uh, i'll keep updating that page it's a lot of work um, i'm doing a lot of work on the farm we have a big season ahead of us i'm really excited for it i enjoy the balance of office online time and then out in farm time as you saw at the beginning of this video it's doing a little burning today so take it easy have a good tuesday and uh, i'll see you out in the fields